Now, England aren't in action at the Rugby World Cup this weekend, but there's been a lot of debate about whether the captain, Owen Farrell, George Ford or Marcus Smith will start at fly half in the knockout stages. Former England centre Luther Burrell believes the position is Ford's to lose after his performances so far in the tournament. Well, this has been an ongoing debate now with the England national team for a number of weeks. Marcus Smith really put his hand up at fullback. He showed what X factor he can bring to the England national team at the weekend. George Ford has been outstanding. The way he controlled the game against Argentina was just phenomenal. He steered the ship to victory on the back of what was a very tough period for the national team going into the tournament. So, look, it's a very, very difficult decision for Steve Borthwick to make. For me, I believe he's probably going to go with George Ford looking to bring Owen Farrell on and potentially look at that combination at 10 and 12 again. Well, as Luther said, Marcus Smith started at fullback in England's last match and impressed. So, Burrell believes Smith could be used in that position again. I think he just bring that X factor. I think we saw a number of players really put their hand up for selection. I think Borthwick ultimately does know his team, but what Marcus Smith does bring is excitement every time he's got his hands on the ball. He sees space, he can read the game very well. He's a distributor, so he can play as a second fly half in that outside channel when George Ford or Owen Farrell may be controlling other areas of the field. So I believe he has to be an option there. I think there has been an issue around, you know, his tactical expertise in the fullback position. But look, if England want to play this expansive game that everybody is hoping for, we need to see Marcus Smith on the field. Gregor Townsend has made 13 changes for Scotland's penultimate group game, which is against Romania on Saturday. Grant Gilchrist will captain the side and win his 67th cap, with Kyle Stain and Chris Harris the only others to keep their places from the win over Tonga. The usual captain, Jamie Ritchie, isn't available. He's failed a head injury assessment. Now, Scotland need a bonus point win over Romania to keep their hopes of a place in the quarters alive. New Zealand head into tomorrow's match against Italy in a position they've never experienced before. The three times champions are in danger of going out of the World Cup at the pool stages. Ian Foster's side would be the first New Zealand team to not reach the knockout stages if they lose to Italy. The All Blacks could even go out with a draw if Italy get a bonus point and they don't. New Zealand, though, can take heart from the fact they have never lost to Italy. They're also boosted by Sam Whitelock's return from injury. Now, he, if he comes off the bench tomorrow, he'll go ahead the great Richie McCaw as New Zealand's most capped player. Sam's obviously bringing up a huge milestone and uh, something that's sort of never been done um, in the all-black jersey. And it's um, been a huge uh, honour and privilege to play alongside him uh, throughout my career. And, um, yeah, I'm sure when he gets out there tonight, he'll... Uh, do what he does every time he puts on the jersey and um, yeah that's play tough uh, tough rugby like he does so he'll he'll be looking forward to that obviously it's 149th um, game and to do that from a physical and from a mental side to be able to turn up each week and prepare and tr play the way that he does is um, a testament a real testament to him and, and obviously no one's done it in the jersey before so um, he stands alone there.